Magandang araw! Pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay addition and subtraction of similar fraction. Balik tanaw natin ang fraction. Ito ay part of a whole. Halimbawa ay 3 fourths. Ang 3 ay tiyatawag natin numerator. Ito ay number na nasa taas ng fraction bar. At ang nasa ilalim naman ng fraction bar ay denominator. Ano nga ba ang similar fractions? Similar or like fractions are fractions with same denominators. Halimbawa ay 4 over 15 and 3 over 15. So, parehong 15 ang kanilang denominators. Next is negative 7 over 20 and 2 over 20. Dito, parehong 20 ang kanilang denominators. Next, 5 over 7 and 9 over 7. Parehong 7 ang kanilang denominator. Kaya, ito ay example ng similar fraction. Alamin natin ang steps sa pag-add at pag-subtract ng fraction. Una, add or subtract the numerator. So, A plus C or A minus C. Copy the common denominator. Ang last ay express in simplest form if necessary. Now, let us have an example. Number one, one-fifth plus three-fifth. So, unang gagawin, add one plus three, then copy the denominator five. So, one plus three is equal to four. Copy the denominator five. So, ang final answer is four over 5. Number 2, 5 over 7 minus 3 over 7. Dito, isubtract ang 5 at 3. Then, copy the denominator 7. So, 5 minus 3 is 2 over 7. Next example. 3 and 1 fourth plus 6 over 4. So, dito, meron na tayong mixed number. Kapag sinabing mixed number, ito ay kombinasyon ng whole number at fraction. So, dito, ang ating whole number ay 3 at ang ating fraction ay 1 fourth. So, i-multiply natin ang denominator na 4 kay 3. So, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Ganyan tayo mag-convert ng mixed number sa improper fraction. Ulitin ko, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1, 13. Then, copy the denominator 4. Next, add the numerators. So, 13 plus 6, the answer here is 19. Copy the denominator, we'll have 19 over 4. Ito ay pwede pang isimplify. Para maisimplify, I-divide natin ang 19 sa 4. 19 divided by 4. Mayroong apat na 4 sa 19. So, 4 times 4 is 16. Proceed sa subtraction. 19 minus 16 is 3. Paano ito sulat sa mixed number? So, ang 4 na ating quotient, iyan ang whole number. And then, ang remainder ay magiging numerator, that is 3, 
and then ang divisor na 4 ay magiging denominator. So, ang ating final answer ay 4 and 3 fourths. Next, number 4. 8 and 3 fifths minus 2 fifths. Ito ay isa na namang mixed number. So, ang ating whole number dito ay 8. Ang fraction ay 3 fifths. Para maging improper, i-multiply natin ang denominator na 5 sa whole number na 8. So, 5 times 8, the answer is 40. Plus 3, the answer is 43. Ulitin ko ah, 5 times 8 is 40. Plus 3, the answer is 43. Then, copy the denominator. Then, proceed to subtraction of numerators. 43 minus 2, the answer is 41. Copy the denominator, 5. And we have again improper fraction. So, ito pwede pang i-simplify. I-divide natin ang 41 sa 5. Mayroong 8 5 sa 41. So, 8 times 5. The answer here is 40. 41 minus 40 the difference is 1. Pagditin ko ah, ang 8 na quotient, ito ang magiging whole number. At ang remainder na 1 ay ang numerator at ang denominator ay 5 which is our divisor. So, final answer natin dito ay 8 and one fifth. Next number, five. Two and five over eleven plus four and six over eleven. Ang gagawin natin dito ay i-add ang whole numbers. Two plus four and then Add the numerators. 5 plus 6. Then, copy the denominator. So, 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus, 5 plus 6 is 11. Kung mapapansin nyo, 11 divided by 11, the answer is, 1. So, we have now 6 plus 1. Final answer is 7. Next number, 6. 3 and 1 third minus 2 and 2 thirds. I-convert natin ang 3 and 1 third sa improper fraction. So, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1. The answer is 10. Ulitin ko ha. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1. The answer is 10. Then, copy the denominator 3. Next naman, 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2, the answer is 8. Then, copy the denominator 3. Ulitin ko. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2, the answer is 8. So, ang ating numerators ay isusubtract na. 10 
minus 8 is 2. Copy the denominator 3. So, final answer natin dito ay 2 thirds. Now, let us have a practice. Perform the indicated operation. Number 1, the correct answer is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 17. Number 2, negative 2 plus negative 5, the answer is negative 7 over 8. Number 3, we have 9 over 10 minus 3 over 10. So, we need to subtract 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6 over 10. Then, simplify. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Final answer is 3 fifth. Next, number 4. Negative 4 over 5 minus negative 3 over 5. So, ang gagawin natin dito is keep change, change. So, keep natin negative 4, change sa plus sign. So, magiging negative 4 plus 3. And the answer is negative 1. Copy the denominator 5. Final answer is negative 1 over 5. Next lesson, addition and subtraction of the similar fraction. Maraming salamat!